I think it may be time to talk about doing glissandos on a valved instrument. And when I say glissando, I mean the smear type that trombones can do so well with their slide, but we have a little trouble doing that with our valves. There's a natural slur from B flat to F, which are both played open, or in treble clef, C to G. But suppose the composer wanted a smear, a smooth transition between those two. We're going to have to distort the tone a little bit in order to do that. The trick is to distort the tone as little as possible and still allow a smooth glissando. And I use half valves or partial valve movements to do that. Each valve has a different effect on the tone and on the intervals you can slide over easily. I find in that range one or three seem to have the best effect. The first step is to play a note, move the valve until it decenters a little bit, and then try a smooth glissando. release the valve when you get to the top. Now that glissando was pretty smooth and the tone was pretty bad. So let's try it with first valve, see if that's any better. That might be a little better. So that's where I'll start, just for experimentation today. This is still in the practice phase for me. I have not yet perfected it, but it's something I would like to perfect. It's probably going to be used at some point by composers. Glissandos or smears have already started to sneak into some pieces over small intervals for a short time. I have no doubt that longer glissandos will be called for at some point. The trick to that smooth transition is to get the distortion to happen by moving the valve, but as soon as the distortion happens, start to move the pitch. Then when you get to the target pitch, bring the valve up slowly, but quickly. I brought it up too soon, so you started to hear that slur in the second half of the gliss. You shouldn't hear that, so let's try it again. That was better. Let's see if it works over a longer interval. I'll go down a fourth to the F or G in treble clef, but still try to go up all the way to the top F or G, so I'm doing an octave this time. That wasn't too smooth. Let's see if third valve does that better. Not bad. What if I combine the two? So I think in experimenting with your own instrument, you'll find the right combination of valves and lip action to do a smooth glissando. As I practice this more, I hope to make the tone a little better as I'm going up. I've heard it done pretty often on trumpet. Of course, that's a smaller bore instrument with a cylindrical bore that may make it easier. On the large bore conical instrument, I think it's a little harder, but I think it can be done. So accept this as a challenge. See if you can get a good, smooth, one octave glissando without bending the tone any more than necessary and without hearing any jumps between the harmonics. There's your challenge for today. Thanks for listening.